Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tom Tom here. I'll do. I will do a little different today since I will pick up some toys at the mall while I was going shopping for food. So I think this is like kind of a Power Ranger Y Force thing. So that's why I add this thumbnail. Here we go. And this is we have the uh, Beast King or something in uh, from the company Toy and Crown. What is the company? Well, you have the beast here, the pictures, and all the beast machine here. Kind of res a a resemble to Gar Ranger. This is Mammoth King. And this is Wolf King. That's it, like the letters in kanji or something. But there's the Wolf King. Yeah, that looks kind of strange. Saber Tooth King. And down here you see Caribou King, and we have Zebra King. Five kings met an emperor, and in the back we have the instruction of how to construct the robot. All the uh, steps. Let's crack this open. And here we have the other kings. Pretty nice figure. The colors is cheap. This is Mammoth King, Karibo King. Zebra King, Saber Tooth King, and Wolf King. That's the none of the mammoth itself. It's uh, all the size is in the back. That's his tail. Back to the front. This is the old concept art of the Wild Force Power Ranger for the mammoth. A really nice concept art, and as you can see, it can self transform into a battle station. I really love this. I don't know why they didn't do it. And as you can see, compared to the real life mammals, or the back here, it looks the same. Like the way the spine goes down. We have a lot of chrome here. Chrome. Oh, sorry, not chrome gold coating here. Sorry, my bad. And this is the articulation for the head. This for the nose. Really nice and flexible articulation. The ears can flip. And the. I really love that detail, it looks like a real elephant over there. Back to the leg, as you can see they're black, black and green here. All black. And the tail is made from a rubber material, flexible and bendable. And we have a locking mechanism here, so we can lock into place due to the transformation of the mammoth mode or the uh, robot mode. A good feature, a good locking mechanism. And we have um, some really nice detail over here. I wish this area is gold coated also, but they didn't do it. I don't know why. A lot of gold coating over here. Shiny. And compared to the Gao Elephant, as you can see, like a Chinese toy versus a Japanese toy, for sure. But then the Galifant is also bigger. I don't know why. It's a, this is a comparison between a, an elephant and a mammoth, and we have the elephant bigger. We have the similarities there. This is the, the Karibo King, all in red and yellow and some gold coating over his horn back the uh, mm. the tail this guy's tail has a hinge up and down and also made from rubber the mouth can open and close head the neck articulation the eyes here is black And this is the horn, beautiful gold coating here. Looks nice. And compared to the box art, you can see that detail over there is different than the actual toy product. I don't know why they made that mistake. But I guess for the price that cheap, compared to the Gao Deer from the Wild Force. As you can see, this one is look more like a. This, the the kind of horn is different than 
like for curry bone, curry bowl, the uh, horn section is supposed to be straight, but not like wider like the gear. This is the comparison, and this is the gal zebra. Oh, sorry, the zebra king. This is so confusing to be honest. I'm starting to get lost on myself. And this is the concept of gal horse from the uh, final episode of Gal Ranger. It actually appeared. But this is, I guess this is, they call this the Zebra King for all the strips. Nice, proper tail. And technically, these two are the same. You can see there's a slot there for to tap in the uh, hair section of the horse. They have the same toys. They're the same. Different in colors and different in the head. And this is the Sabertooth King and the Wolf King. Kind of a strange color. Like more, more like a hyena, and this one looks more like a lynx. It don't look like saber tooth or wolf at all to, to, to me. The tail, so the same toy. Like I said, same toy. Different colors. That's all. So the size. In the back. And the articulation there. Feet is fixed in a position. You can bend the knee a little bit. Same goes around on the back. You can bend the knee a little bit. And the mouth can open and the neck can go up and down. So the tail, rubber material. This one the same. Compared to Gao Wolf. Obviously you'll see the difference here. There's no, there's no comparison here, uh, uh, to be honest. This is the way the Gao Wolf is way better than this thing here. All the size. And now to transformation to the robot mode. Push down the tail. Flip, push in the leg. Bend them up, like so. And lock them in with the second slot. Push them in that that is locked. Nice and secure. This leg here, you push them dead in like so. It's that tab. You flip that tab out. Same one goes from here. That's so what the head. You just simply push down the nose section and there we go, we got his face like so, open up and the push this up for the horn and we have the body, the torso as for the arms now just push that in bend that out same thing one, same There we go, we got to finish the right arms. This is the same one, like I said, the same toy. We just keep repeating and repeating. There we go. And for the leg, this is quite an interesting part. I will show, I will tell you why in a, in a few moments. Like that, like that, flip that in, like so, bend down the neck so we have any more boots, flip that leg in, there's a tap there, push that in, rotate this part like so. This is an interesting part, because actually the Wild Force or Gal Ranger has never had any Mega Swords with like the hip section is created from two different machines. They're all in one, it's like the buffalo and the um, rhino. But this one is different. I like I like this feature. It looks different and looks balanced. Tap them in like so. There's two slots there. And there's two taps here. We tap them in. Like, uh, give me a second. Hard plastic. There we go. Push the... Uh, right arms in and the left arm and there we have the beast king 
with this robot, fully combined from all the size. Very colorful, appeal to children. I'm just gonna give him a full rotation, you can see. so you can see. I like the head. The head design looks cool. Looks like a uh, man-made mecha to me. I like that head design. I really dig that. As for the body, it looks kind of like Gao Maso. And you can see there's a resemble from elephant there. A lot of gold coating, to be honest. Many gold coating. The hips join, like I said. They miss, they miss a bit of details, like some red paint over there. What a shame, to be honest. The elbow. Yeah, this guy has an elbow. Really nice. The features only appears on the two, the Gao uh, Bear and Gao uh, White Bear. Ice Bear. This part is go gold go coated, like dangerous killing weapon. Up to the feet. We have, the, we have no articulation here at all. Due to that, we have still have a lot of gold coat. And that's pretty much it. He is, has back hollow leg due to the way he's transformed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, kind of hard to stand figure. Not too well balanced. We can push out this leg for extra space for standing, but it just looks stupid. Now, compared to Gao King, it's a little bit. Taller on the same size, kind of, but he's wider, that's for sure, compared to the two size. Not too many resemble there. We can see the similarities with the wolf to the tiger. And a, a nice thing is that this guy has the same tap section as the gal animal. So they combat so they are compatible, which is nice. Now he has two carry burden, two horn arm to punch people with. And also for the DX Gao King, you can remove this. Remove the any more arms about him. And he we can also equip with this Beast King figure. Nice compatible feature. Really, really nice. Again, more combined, the same tabs. Like, they create this toy so he's compatible with every single Power Ranger War Force figure, the Japanese version, so they're all compatible. So he has more value to play with, other than just like, I don't know, some Chinese toy. It looks nice with this form, I think. Kind of nice. There it is. And a few little thoughts. I think like this company, this toy crown company thing, they just took some old concepts of a new Gao machine, beast machine on in the like in the series and put it into this new toy with the hope that somehow they will get, get people confused. But to be honest, this is kind of a fun thing to play with. It's kind of fun. Kind of. Like you um well that 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 range price. I bought him like for fifteen dollars. He's a good toy to play, you know, like you're boring and you lie in bed and you need something to play with. He's nice. So that is my review for this Chinese toy. So tell me in the comment section below what you think. And follow me on my Instagram also. Well, I'll see you guys later. And here's with more Gauss equipment. I just two boards, so I'm just gonna put some more in the case you want to imagine what he looks like with all the machine Gao machine. Goodbye guys and thanks a lot for watching my review. I will see you next time. <laughs>